Hey guys, I'm Kendall. And I'm Brooklyn. And we're the Crutes. Uh, we're shooting our first YouTube video and we wanted to share with you guys how we actually met. Yeah, so we thought this would be a good video to start off with um, because you can just learn a little bit about us and how we ended up together and we're married and so it's like a little story time. Yeah, so where do you want to start? Are we starting from like the beginning beginning or are we starting like dating you take it away just all right i think we should start from the beginning because it's actually like a lot gets tied into it so like my testimony of coming to know the lord yeah he he didn't love jesus y'all so let's just get into it let's just get into okay. it so okay, uh i i was 17 at the time and she 15. was 15 um and i went to uh north cop christian um and she had gone there like years and years prior before i ever ever showed up yeah so we had i played sports i played for the basketball team played for the football team and the first time that we actually met and like saw each other was at one of my high school basketball games at our rival school um yeah Mount Perrin. so yeah so i had come to that game i was not going to that school at the time i had already moved so it was crazy because the year that i moved was the year that he came to the school that i was at so we didn't know each other I went to the game and I was actually supporting the other team because yeah. I had a friend on that team. And so I wasn't even like paying attention to my old school. And then I seen him on the court and I was like, who is this new guy? <laughs> like, I didn't see him when I was going there. So go ahead. Um, so yeah, so we played the game. Uh, when the game is over, we end up winning the game. And uh, had that, had that week. yeah, of course I did. <laughs> um, but somebody comes up to me after the game, was like, "Hey, I have this girl, my friend. She she wants to meet you." And I was like, "Cool, I'll meet her." And at the time, I had a girlfriend, and I think she was at the game. I'm not sure if she was or not, but I don't think she was. I don't think she was either. She but, wasn't with you. <laughs> but he's like, "Hey, I have a friend uh, that she wants to meet you." So I was like, "Yeah, cool, I, I'll meet her." And so like, uh, I gave her like a super quick hug. And yeah, was he really... was not interested. Like, I was expecting, like, this to be our moment. <laughs> this was, like, where we were going to fall in love. And he was like, what's up? Like, and then just, like, walked away. And I was like, okay. And that was it. So then fast forward, like, what was it? Probably, like, a couple months. I would say, like, a year. A year? Maybe. Like, six months to a year. Yeah, so six months to a year <laughs> later, um, I'm with my friend. And we're going to the movies. He's like, yo, we got to stop at Taco Bell real quick. There's this girl that I'm trying to see, I'm trying to meet. I was like, cool, I'm not tripping about it. I still had a girlfriend, same girlfriend at the time. So I was like, cool, I'm not really tripping about it. So we get to Taco Bell. and um, I don't I, know if I knew that you were there. I don't know. At I don't the know. time, like I didn't think, I don't think I knew that you were at Taco Bell too. So I literally walked in and I was there to meet his friend that he was with. Totally different friend than the yeah. basketball whole thing. So we were all just kind of like mutual friends. And I had not seen him since the basketball game. I don't even know if you like knew me like that. No, I knew you because my friend had talked about you. So I knew who you were and like I, I had seen you thought when Vine. This is this when Vine was popping. <laughs> so she had made like some Vines and stuff. And like you might remember him telling me about you. But uh, yeah, I thought you were cute. Like when you showed me, I was like, so I walked into Taco Bell, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh, like Kendall's with this dude. And I wasn't even at that point. I was not worried about the other guy. Like I was just like, <laughs> this this man is so That's fine. That's cold. And, but he had his girlfriend with him, and I like totally respected that. So I didn't like, you know, come on. And I was like shy. I was very shy back then. So um, what happened after that? Yeah, I still remember what she had on. She may have not have been I and me. And I, I, yes, I had a girlfriend at the time, but I was not saved back then. But I definitely noticed her. I still remember everything she had on. She had on a Nike tank top. She had on the camo pants and she had Tim's on. And back then, this is like a whole nother situation, but she had red hair. So whole different whole, situation. <laughs> whole Long different red situation. hair. Yeah. Just, so I was a different girl. She was with two of her friends uh, at Taco Bell as well. And we were all just hanging out and uh one of I, so friends. I'm like super church girl, right? I still am. So I was like known to be super church girl. Like I'm always inviting people to church. And um, she's a PK. So yeah. So my parents are pastors here in Georgia. And so I um I invited him to church with my friends at Taco Bell. I was like, hey, like you, you guys should come to church with us this weekend. And he was like, nah, I'm straight. Or nah, I'm good. I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Like, real chill. And I was like, oh, bet. Like, this man's <laughs> gone. Like, after that, he was not attractive to me. Um, I was just like, his attitude kind of like, I was like, okay, whatever. Like, he's kind of cocky. He's not going to come to church. Like, he doesn't love the Lord. So I was kind of like, okay, I need to like end this whole 
crush thing I got going on secretly. So fast forward even, probably even a couple more months after that, probably like three or four so months So we had already later. like ran into each other like twice. Yeah, so three or four months later, um, I ended up getting diagnosed with lung cancer right before my <laughs> senior season of basketball. And it was a huge shell shock for me. And this is where like my testimony kind of ties into yeah. our relationship, which is really cool. But I ended up getting diagnosed with lung cancer right before my senior season of basketball in like September. I ended up having um, surgery in October. They remove a fifth of my left lung. And um, throughout that whole process, I'm really going through a time where I'm really trying to like find out, try, I'm really figuring out the Lord for myself and I'm really fi figuring out faith for myself. And I remember being on the hospital bed and giving my life to Christ and just saying like, you know, it, like I've been miserable. I was in a bad place just mentally. Um, and I just, just, it wasn't, my life just wasn't amounting to anything at that point. I, I played basketball. I was good at it, but had I a just, ton of scholarships. Yeah. Like basketball scholarships. Really um, but I just, I was miserable at the end of the day. So I gave my life to Christ on the hospital bed and, um, I come home from the surgery. I'm home for like a week. And I'm up on Twitter at like five, like four or five o'clock in the morning. It was not that. No, it was late. It was I remember. Like two. No, it was definitely. It was super, super late. So I'm up on Twitter, and I see that she's on Twitter that late. And so like I just, I think I shoot you, like I mentioned you or something mm -hmm. like that. I DM you, and I'm like, isn't it past your bedtime or something like that? So she DM'd me, and she was like, Hey, my mom's. Hold gonna... on. Whoa, whoa. You said back up. You said, isn't it past your bedtime? Yeah. So you mentioned me first. Yes, but you and we slid went in back the DMs. and forth, but we went back and forth for a minute. No. And I yes, like maybe two, two three times. I and don't then know I that. DM'd him and said, My mom's gonna be upset <laughs> if she sees that. <laughs> so why don't you text me? So that You was, asked for my number though. Yeah. You asked for my number. You said what's what's your number? So I gave you Did I really? Yes, you did. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so she it's twenty twenty, y'all. If I was doing that back in 2013. Yeah, girls, she was. It's not. It's not um, a bad thing to DM. Yeah, she was all up my DMs, bro. But I was bold. Yeah, she was real bold. But I liked it, so I gave her my number, and we ended up like texting like that whole night, and then the next day, like I don't text her. Yeah. At all. And let, let's just share this: that he was treating me like a little sister. That is true. Like, it he was, was, like, little sis and saying all this stuff, and I was like, this is not the vibe <laughs> that I'm actually going for. It was for. like a little sis, big brother type of vibe, or that's what I thought in the beginning. So I was just trying to keep it, like, real, real even, low key. Like, not even friend zone. You... Yeah, I was like... Sis zone. <laughs> a, sis, a sis zone. Like, that's the worst. Yeah, so it was definitely... I definitely, like, wasn't trying to, like, make it that, or whatever yeah. the case was. So, uh, I did not text her back at all. The next day, like not one time. Yeah, he dropped me. Um, and then you ended up inviting. I think like the next day though, like I text you, and then you ended up inviting me to your mom's store. And I remember, um, yeah, that's what it was. So I didn't text her back the next day, but the day after that, uh, she ended up inviting me to her mom's store so that we can meet. So I was like, all right, cool. So uh, it was real chill. Like I was in sweats. Yeah, I still remember what she had on there too. She had she must have really liked Nike back then because she had on a uh, Nike shirt. Did I really? Yeah, yeah, Nike shirt on. I know I had like gray, baggy sweat, gray pants. sweatpants, and some Tim's. You love the Tim's. I love my Tim's. I still love my Tim's. <laughs> so uh, we ended up meeting up at her mom's store in Woodstock, and that's when I like actually had like a full on conversation, met her face to face, and was like, oh wow, like nah, this Let's this whole. Not Let's not forget the best part. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So he meets my mom for the first time and... Hold on. Side note. We just have to make a little disclaimer about her parents. Her parents are like the real, real deal. Legit. We're, we're Christians. We're Christians and we're like fully, full faith, spirit filled people. Yeah. So like her mom is the type to have a dream and tell you everything that you've ever been doing. <laughs> like they're super in tune with God. So I just want to throw that disclaimer out there before... She says his part. So, first time we're meeting, right? Like, just alone. Like, we have met. First time meeting her parents as well. Like I said, super faith-filled, spirit-filled people. Me, I'm not really saved at this point. Yeah. So, just keep that in so, mind. So, he meets my mom for the first time there. And he's, um, I don't even know how she knew that you could sing. I don't know either. Oh, I used to make singing videos on Instagram. You must have told oh her. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, Chris Brown. 
Oh so, okay, yeah, and his profile picture back then was like, oh, total shirt geez. off, like, head shirt. Like, there's just some things you just look back on your life, and you just like, why? The whole, like, wave Golly, edit, I was like. dude. Okay. I, had, I had color contacts in. Oh, oh, Ooh, color contacts. Okay, back. My God. So, we were at um, my mom's store. She had a boutique, and so, we, like, we're walking around the whole, like, little town, and somehow it got brought up that he could sing so my mom of course is just like she's super like to the point like let me hear you sing just sing right now and it was like just our first yeah. time kind of like feeling each other out yep. and so he started singing let me love you by mario and my. mind you like my parents are pastors they're not judgmental but like like if you're coming if like guys i'm just gonna throw this tip out here to you if you are trying to date like a christian girl <laughs> and her parents are pastors and Christians and like faith filled people, you probably don't want to sing a love song like Let the me first love time. You. We the did. first time, you probably don't want to sing Let Me Love You by Mario. I, I think you probably want to sing like Amazing Grace <laughs> or something like that. Something with reckless some love. <laughs> reckless love, reckless ocean, love. something along the lines that has some maybe type not of like Let Me Love Your Daughter. Let yeah, me be the that, one to show just, you all the things, whatever the lyrics are. Yeah, not a lot of wisdom. And he was just moment. going in, and I was like, this is awkward. But it, it turned yeah. out okay. Yeah, she liked that I could sing, though. She, she enjoyed it. I do. It. Okay, he was like two and a half years older than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was 15. And, and I was like, about to turn 18. And I had like never even gone to the movies along <laughs> with the boy. And he's over here singing Let Me Love You. Yeah, about to go off to college too to play basketball. It was just... Yeah, was, there my was mom was like, wisdom. what do you think we're doing? <laughs> she was like, Brooklyn, this is not working. But she actually ended up really loving you. Yeah. And, um, and now we're like super, super yeah. close and tight. But, so, after that, um, I mean, honestly, that was like the last step. Yeah, and then it we, was history. We started dating like a month after. Yeah. So it wasn't that much time. And then we literally dated for six years. Six years. Until yeah. we got married. So we were engaged yeah. for a year and a half within that six years. So I guess it was like four and a half, five years. Yeah. And then we got engaged for a year and a half. And then we got married last year. It's almost a year. Which is absolutely crazy. Time is flying. So we've been married for almost a year so but yeah that is pretty much kind of the background of how we met and yeah. how we started dating um so yeah yeah so if you guys like this video if you liked our story our little love story make sure that you like comment and <laughs> make sure you like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel and we'll be back with another video yes and in the comments if you want to send some feedback we would love that or send some video ideas for us to do we would also love that too so yeah thanks all right see y'all